In 1927, Professor Thomas Parnell at the University of Queensland set up what would become the world's longest running laboratory experiment, the pitch drop experiment. Parnell's experiment was deceptively simple. He heated a sample of pitch, a derivative of tar that appears solid but is actually an extremely viscous fluid, poured it into a sealed funnel and waited for it to drop. The pitch is so viscous that it flows at an incredibly slow rate. Approximately nine years were required for the first drop to fall in 1938, with subsequent drops following roughly every decade. Professor John Mainstone took over custodianship of the experiment in 1961 and dedicated nearly 50 years to observing it. Yet despite his vigilance, he never managed to witness a drop falling. The viscosity of pitch is estimated to be 230 billion times that of water, demonstrating how materials we perceive as solid can actually flow like liquids over extraordinarily long time scales. In 2000, the experiment entered the digital age when a webcam was installed to capture the ninth drop. But in a cruel twist of fate, the camera malfunctioned at the precise moment the drop fell in November 2000. The experiment was recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's longest running laboratory experiment and was awarded an Og Nobel Prize in 2005 celebrating science that first makes people laugh, then makes them think. In April 2014, the ninth drop was finally captured on camera, ending a 14-year wait and providing scientists with unprecedented data about the material properties of pitch over long time periods. Today, the experiment continues at the University of Queensland, with the 10th drop expected sometime in the 2020s, nearly a century after Parnell first heated and poured the pitch. This remarkably simple experiment has provided invaluable insights into material properties and serves as a profound reminder of how science operates on timescales far beyond human perception, with the pitch estimated to have enough material to continue dropping for at least another hundred years.